The graph below is the function f of x. Find the limit as x approaches 3 from the left, from the right, and make a determination about the function's limit at 3. So I know this is asking me for a limit from the left because of this superscripted negative. So what that means is as I approach this limit value here, which I'll indicate with this vertical line at positive 3, if I approach 3 from the left, I need to observe what's happening to values along the y. Well, the y values here are going down to negative infinity. They're getting smaller without bound. On the right-hand side, as I approach 3 from the right, so values that are bigger than 3, the limit, the function, is approaching the value negative infinity as well. So the limit is also negative infinity. Now, to make a determination about the limit itself at 3, I compare these two numbers. If they happen to be equal, I go ahead and say that that is the value of the limit. Even if they're both infinity, that's fine. They just have to be the same sign of infinity. So since they are both negative infinity, that's great. We'll just say the limit exists and is equal to negative infinity. Uh, f of 3? Well, f of 3 is asking where is the function defined at 3. So the function is defined here at this particular point, which is at 3 and then 4 on the y. So the value of f of 3 is 4.